NanoCAD draws precisely, and so the drawings it creates are of the right size, precisely. Nevertheless, it still helps to put dimensions in drawings to get an idea of the overall size. For example, this floor plan is 16,800 millimeters wide, about 55 feet. To place dimensions in drawings, click on the Annotate tab in NanoCAD, and then click on the Big Dimensions button. Down on the command bar, you'll see lots and lots of prompts, but the good news is that NanoCAD starts off in automatic mode, and that's where it guesses the kind of dimensions you want from the kind of entity you select. So I'm going to move the cursor over an entity, click, and then notice that NanoCAD has figured out the entire dimension. All it wants to know from me is where to place it. So I click a second time. It works equally well for vertical dimensions. So I move the cursor over a vertical piece, click, and place the dimension. Angled lines work the same way. Select the entity and then move the cursor to place the dimension. Also works on curved objects like this arc. So I'll select the arc and this time you notice there's a couple of options about where to place the, the dimension. I can place it outside and there's a leader line that goes all the way to the center point or I can place it on the inside and there's a shorter line. Click to place it. To dimension small entities, just zoom in and then you can place the dimension accurately. Here's a couple of slightly more advanced forms of dimensioning with that MDIM command. So I'm going to come in here and once again select this line and click. But now I'm going to put the cursor over this other line and notice that NanoCAD automatically knows that you want to put in an angle. So I click to select the second entity needed for the angle and then click to position the dimension. Now down here on the prompt line, one of the options of the MDIM command is grouped. So I'm going to select it and notice that it prompts you to select objects. So I'm going to select these objects here, press enter to finish, and then notice that NanoCAD will place dimensions for every entity that you selected. When I move to the side, it tries to do the vertical dimensioning as well as I can put it to the bottom. Now earlier I had placed a horizontal dimension on this sloped line, but you can also have a parallel dimension, one that's also sloped. So let me first erase this dimension, restart the MDiv command, and click on the sloped line. Now when I move the cursor, depending on where I position it, it will either be a horizontal dimension or a parallel dimension. Now if you want to easily place a series of dimensions, first you place an initial dimension and that defines how far away the series of dimensions will be from the wall. Then you come down to the command prompt and click on chain. Chain will add additional dimensions. So the prompt says select dimension. So this is the one we want to work from. And now each time I click a point, it adds another dimension perfectly aligned. I press enter to end the command.